Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I'm Brad Wiseman. You're watching Brad TV in my car. So uh, that's a really good song that's just ending. I was hoping that song would be on the whole time while I'm talking, but it's not. So it's Thursday morning. Um, wow, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. And um, today I wanted to um, get into some... This is just a short segment. Um that I wanted to talk about, something that comes up every time I talk to sellers. And a lot of times when I talk to buyers, obviously it comes up too. It's the um, it's the seller assist. Um, a lot of sellers, I'll sit down with uh, somebody that wants to list their home and we'll be going through the listing presentation and you'll hear them say, well, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to give any money towards closing costs. Well, um, I understand that and, and I understand that concern and they don't want to help somebody um, finance or, or uh, get the property, the whole thing is usually people will say, um, I don't, if they don't have the money to buy it, why should I help them with closing costs? Well, there's, there's, there's another way of looking at that. And this is how I explain it to my sellers is that if your house is listed at $200,000 and the buyer is going to come in and offer you one ninety, somebody that doesn't need seller assist, it's going to offer you 190 okay and your house is listed at 200 so that's a ten thousand dollar drop in price the seller is at that point willing to drop that ten thousand and accept that offer of a hundred and ninety thousand for their property okay the same let's just say another buyer comes in okay same situation two hundred thousand dollar house and they decide hey you know what I'm going to offer the seller 200 instead of offering them lower, but I am going to ask for $10,000 back at settlement from the, se the seller's proceeds. And that's only at settlement, it's not right away, it's at settlement. So that nets the seller at settlement $190,000. So my thinking or my process on this is what's the difference to the seller either way you're netting 190 if it is enabling a buyer to purchase your home which is what the goal is is to sell the property why not accept it at 200,000 with 10,000 assist it's the same as if a buyer came at 190,000 so that's my one thing about that the other thing is a lot of people think it may be because they don't have the money to purchase the house. That's not always the reason. Um, with interest rates, now they have climbed a little bit, but with interest rates being at five and a quarter percent, let's just say they're five, five and a quarter percent, okay? At that interest rate, um, money's cheap at that rate. So instead of somebody taking $10,000 out of their savings account, in addition to what they're already spending to buy the property, why not finance that 10,000 in the mortgage, which is really what they're doing. Um, so then it costs the buyer maybe 10 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month to pay the 200,000 and ask for 10,000 back. That's why a lot of people do it. It's not that they don't have the money, it's just a smarter way to get the money instead of using all of their savings. Plus, if the property needs work, um, why not? use that extra 10,000 to paint or update a bathroom or something when they move in. It's not necessarily that the buyer does not qualify without that 10,000. It could mean that they're using that money to do other things uh, and then that makes them want to purchase your home. Because if your home needs a new bathroom or needs you know, some things uh, fixed up, they might be asking for that 10,000 to help them out in doing those things when they move in. So that's basically my um, feeling on seller assist. Uh, I don't think you should ever say we're not going to do it. It's part of the negotiation process. The other thing you can do, and this is not a fail, a fail proof. If the seller says, look, I'm not willing to sell it for 190 net. And somebody comes in that 200,000 with $10,000 assist. You can also suggest raising the price to 205 and doing $10,000 assist. Then the seller's netting 195. So the buyer pays a little bit more. The seller gets $5,000 less than asking price and everybody's happy. Now, the only caveat in that whole thing is that it does have to praise for 5,000 more than asking price. Most of the time it probably will. 
most likely. Now, if you start trying to go um, ten thousand dollars over your close, your your selling uh, number, your sales price, then you might get a little bit of problems with the appraisal. So keep that in mind. There's all kinds of ways to do it. If you ever have any questions about seller assist or how to structure uh, a pro, um, an offer, let me know. I'm Brad Wiseman uh, from Kelly Williams Platinum Realty. You can watch me every Thursday morning here on Facebook Live on my page. You can also see me in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes on Here's What's Happening, which is also on my Facebook page. Um, and that's going to be all about different things going on in the county. But if you have any questions, give me a call, 484-256-5836. You can also go to brad at bradwiseman.com or go to bradwiseman.com, my website. And there's all kinds of information on there. YouTube, I have a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Uh, it's youtube.com backslash Realtor. That's about it for now. I hope to see you all very soon. See if I can find something fun to listen to on the way out. Oh, this is good. It's not my favorite. Let's try something else. How about this one? Yeah, there we go. Now this is a good song. It feels like we should be roller skating, don't you think? Should we be roller skating right now? Get your roller skates out. We're going to go. All right. Have a good Thursday. Have a great weekend. I will not be on next Thursday because next Thursday is actually Thanksgiving. So uh, everybody should have a great Thanksgiving next Thursday, and um, we'll talk to you sometime after that. All right, bye-bye.